been an amazing time to come into gun world with an interest. And and what I what I say is not just the right, but really the responsibility that we have to be able to defend ourselves, defend our families, ultimately, you know, defend our way of life in, in that extreme scenario. But people are re realizing that responsibility more and more, right? And in the American middle ground, for two decades, in a lot of ways, we've seen a resurgence in meeting that responsibility and wanting to. And right. the setback of, of 1994 on the federal level really got a lot of people motivated. And we've seen this huge expansion of concealed carry permit opportunities and people taking advantage of that opportunity. We've seen these huge opportunities for people to um, get their hands on good quality, reliable defensive guns at an affordable price. Right. Um, it is a it's a different world now than it was in, yeah. in the early 90s. Certainly, if you go all the way back to the 80s. So yeah. so I've seen this evolution and. I'm excited about it, and I'm excited about the way our industry is meeting that challenge. Yeah. You know, the way we're, we're really helping people get started in the right ways. Right. And it's interesting, I'd never thought about it before, but it's weird how that policy has really shaped the gun industry Absolutely. in a large respect. Absolutely. Now, the anti-gunners say that we're passing concealed carry in order to sell more concealable guns. And all that. No, we're passing concealed carry in order to allow people to defend themselves, to make that choice to defend themselves and their families. Now. Of course, the gun manufacturers are saying, well, there's this need out here for concealable small handguns that are still very reliable. Let's start making them, and they have. So it's neat to see policy driving in a good perspective. So mm -hmm. Right to Carry drove the gun industry to make great things. Think, think about what happens in the event where we don't have a plethora of different options and varieties and different manufacturers. Right. The price is skyrocket. So then now, now we're talking about being people just simply naturally being prohibited from buying guns right. because they cost too damn much. Especially the people who need them most. Exactly. Who might not have the most financial means because those people who live in high crime areas, areas. where they're likely to be victims. Exactly. Yes, and it, it, it's one of those self-fulfilling prophecies when the antis were trying to make guns more expensive you know, the Saturday night special ban. Right, so basically right. a ban on affordable guns. <laughs> let's let's uh, totally price guns out of the hands of the people who need them most.